Hello, Sean again, an application engineer here at Daytac Instruments. Today I'll walk you through the process of setting up your instrument for standalone data acquisition. For this demonstration, we'll use a Daytac Instruments model DI4108-U. We'll begin by running the WINDAC dashboard, selecting the DI4108, and choosing a standalone setup from the Configure pull-down menu. In the standalone setup window, you can enable, disable, and configure analog channels, choose a file storage mode, choose a file storage format, enable a discrete digital, rate, or count channel, set the sample interval, or the rate at which channels are sampled, or choose the record on power startup option, allowing you to start recording as soon as the logger is powered up. We'll begin the demonstration by enabling and configuring a second channel. To do so, we'll click the Channel 2 checkbox and the Configure button. In the Channel Configuration window, you can choose an input range. Note that the resolution of the instrument is spread out over the chosen range, so you want to choose a range that's wide enough to accommodate the signals you're connecting to the instrument, but narrow enough to give you the best possible resolution. You can also choose a reporting mode. Last point, average or filtered, max or min. Click the link below for more information on the different reporting modes. You can annotate or label a channel, and scale a channel to display meaningful engineering units. In this case, we have a pressure transducer with a 0 to 5 volt output and a 0 to 100 psi measurement range. So we'll enter 5 for the upper level sensor output, 100 for the upper level sensor input, and 0 and 0 for lower level sensor output and sensor input, and then change the engineering units to psi. Next we'll choose a file storage mode. Non-circular mode is the default. With this option selected, we can use timed storage to start and stop recording at a particular date and time. You can make a single recording or record daily at the same time of day. Or remote storage to start and stop recording when the state of D1 the remote control pin is true, TTL high or low. You can also start recording manually using the push button on the side of the unit. Timed storage and remote storage can be used in conjunction, but both conditions must be true to record data. With non-circular modes selected, the recording ends when the USB flash drive is full. Choosing circular mode allows you to continually record the most recent data. This is done using a first in first out approach. So when the current file is full, the first data point in the file gets overwritten and the second and the third and so forth until the file fills again and the same process starts over. With circular mode selected, click the configure button to choose a recording length. You can enter a number of days, hours, minutes, or seconds or a number of scans. A scan equates to one data point from each enabled channel. Time storage is also available in circular mode. Triggered mode allows you to choose a trigger channel, the level on that channel at which to begin recording, a hysteresis, or how close to the actual trigger level you want to start recording within 2 millivolts, 5 millivolts, and so forth. A trigger slope, record on the positive going or negative going side of the signal. And rearm the trigger once it's been reached. You can also choose the period of time or number of scans to record both before and after the trigger level is reached. As with non-circular and circular mode, time storage is also available in triggered mode. Note that the trigger level must be reached inside the time frame specified in order to record data. You can also choose a file storage format. Note that CSV format is only available in non-circular mode. 
In addition, you can enable a discrete digital channel, a rate channel and corresponding range based on the full scale frequency of the input, and a counter channel to count the number of pulses or events. Finally, you can choose a sample interval or the rate at which data will be sampled. You can choose an interval in seconds, milliseconds, or microseconds. Once you've entered the interval, the sample rate in samples per second per channel is displayed to the right. And as mentioned before, the Record on Power Startup allows you to start recording as soon as the unit is powered up or when power is restored after a failure. While the same standalone setup procedure applies to most contemporary loggers accessed through the WINDAC dashboard, the channel configuration procedure for the DI4718B is a little different. Designed to accommodate DI8B series signal conditioning modules, scaling channels to display engineering units is as simple as choosing the appropriate signal conditioning module from the DI8B amplifier module pull-down menu. In this example, a DI8B47J-01 thermocouple module. As you can see, upper and lower level sensor output and sensor input levels are automatically populated, so information recorded to the USB flash drive in standalone mode is in meaningful units.